hey, I want to show you this cart assembled and how I set it up. I just, I can't even believe it. This wasn't my intention. My intention was to put one on each shelf, right? Hey friend, smash that subscribe button. It really helps us out. Also, we have hundreds of videos and playlists on here for you. And then we started adding uh, timestamps. So a lot of the videos you can jump around and get right to the information you want. And then we even start adding captions so you can pick your language. Enjoy the video. And then I'm like, are they kidding me? Are these things narrow enough? And here's the decisions you have when kind of working with some of this cheap equipment, if you will. I mean, I put the fasteners facing out because I don't like reaching in something or I didn't want to lose the footprint right for the shelf. Same thing on the bottom, you know, snagging stuff in and out. So it doesn't look as good, but obviously now I have to be careful pulling the cables up not to snag those. I mean, in all reality, since I'm happy with it, I'll probably take it on as a project someday to go ahead and just remove the hardware and weld it, <laughs> respray paint it, call it a day, because this thing's super cool. It is what it is. It's a $150, uh, you know, little card off Amazon, but some of the stuff I'm not crazy about, this little, this is supposed to be like a helmet uh, holder, if you will, and it fits, it's deep. I could fit two helmets in there. When I got it, my intention was to put this stuff in here and actually get, get rid of these cardboard boxes and get nice little, you know, plastic tool trays to hold like the consumables and stuff like that, which I'm still going to do. So that's coming in the future. But what I'll probably do is just stack them up out here. Uh, and I'll, I might even just, I'll just see how much stuff I want to put in here. But how much usually I'm just going to hang off the side, you know, where the, where the cords are hanging. That's where I usually do it. I have to check the weight capacity and kind of see but man wouldn't it be a dream situation because there's room for two bottles on there you could just wrap the chain around both bottles but it'd be awesome to go ahead and be able to put my uh, mig welder on there and then just have it all down to one cart that would be like really ideal situation just to have everything together i really don't think it's heavy duty enough for that to be honest with you so i don't know i could beef it up i could modify it do all that you know, when I looked at some of the carts on the market, they were getting in that $500 range and they were nicer. They were definitely heavier duty. They even had drawers, basically like a built-in toolbox. So you could have your consumables on there. You know, those are you know, an option for some people. I just didn't want that kind of investment for what I do. Just didn't need a $500 welding cart. So I'll, I'll see how I'm going to kind of play with this. But one other thing you may notice that's a little bit weird if you've ever put together is normally when you have cable runs to hold something like this you're going to see them opposite each other like this so these are great for these ground cables i'm willing to make a fairly tight bend on there or the power cables too but if you notice here on these i didn't do the way they recommended to put this down i put it facing up what this does i don't wrap guns or the tig torch or whatnot or the plasma torch whatever I, I don't wrap those really tight it's hard on the cabling itself to put a real tight bend on so i like them really uh relaxed so this bottom one facing down never helps me anyway so what you do is you put it facing up and then look at check this out it's a really nice little holder to keep the torch you know had something to uh, sit on for the tig and the same thing for the plasma so that's a cool little tip for you I mean, I just can't believe how great this thing worked out when you think about how just out of the box, you know, it just uh, fit really well. I will say this, I'm quite blown away by the performance of, you know, of these little machines, you know, the plasma torch video, check it out. And I think I showed earlier, but let's just make sure in case you skipped around that, that thing cut that big plate. C channel, if you will, that Kevin was doing. So it's uh, pretty impressive. And then obviously now testing out this little TIG is going to be great. I cannot wait to weld up those, you know, crash bars and, uh, you know, really put this thing to a good project. To my understanding, TIG accessories from the tungsten and the cups and the holders are just standard off the shelf stuff. And I do not know about the plasma cutter, but that would be good information to find out. I will check back, obviously, making some future videos. When I think about how much less of an investment this would be for the right application, the right either hobby or the right fit, I really believe there's going to be people out there doing some professional jobs with these because it does the work. You saw it. But... I don't know, duty cycles in life and everything else. But I tell you, I just cannot wrap my head around the fact that these are bo both these units are under a couple hundred bucks. So when you talk about 
the cart, the welders, the helmet. When you add up everything on this cart, you're talking 600, maybe 650. If I really penciled out the, the details on there, that is a lot of equipment when you're thinking even safety gear for that money. I don't know. You have to make a decision if this is uh, what fits for you. When you think of like value and cost, it's going to be different. People have different expectations and different needs, right? So we're excited here at the How to Wrench Shop to continue making training aids and cutaways. And, you know, we love making tools, love making custom tools. So we're set up pretty well with everything we got here. But I'd love to try out a Vivor MIG welder next as well. Even a stick welder. I'd like to keep, you know, keeping the line going just to try them all out. Awesome. Well, if you haven't done so yet, I hope you like this review. Hope we did a good job on it for you. Like I said, all links below. But as always, like, share, subscribe, join the channel as a way to support us. Make it a great day. And as always, keep wrenching. Thank you.